Wow. Whoa. Woo. Oh, wow. He has pulled so much drag. Well, good morning, everybody and or anybody. Christian with Mate Town for fishing here. I am fishing an area I haven't fished in like a month or so, but what's really exciting is this past week has been unbelievably warm for this time of year. It's end of February and we've had 80 degree weather for like three or four days. The water temperature right now is 62 and a half degrees, which that's easily another five degrees warmer. I'm marking an, a crazy amount of fish uh, already, but I'm sheep's head fishing. So I'm making my way to the docks, uh, trying to see if I can find some fish, maybe check out some new areas. I was considering keeping fish today, but I did not end up bringing my cooler. So with that being said, it'll be all catch and release. The big news for today is that I have a brand new, uh, just released toadfish spinning reel. It's IPX5 sealed, which is awesome. It has some really cool features like comfort grips and stuff like that. I paid for this, it was not given to me, so I will give an honest review. Uh, I'm excited to break it in and of course have that paired up with my Toadfish Convict Rod 5'11". This is actually uh, my first time using Toadfish braid as well. I had that laying around from forever ago, 20 pound braid. So it's a good looking combo, but let's see if it can catch fish. Stay tuned, wish me luck, and I uh, hope you all enjoy the video. If you do and you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot. Uh, hit the notification bell if you enjoy the videos. It's the best way to know when I post a new one. Uh, Wednesdays at 6 for now, but we'll see if that changes. Let's get to fishing. Wish me luck, and uh, hopefully we find some good ones today. Enjoy the video. All right, on top of the new reel, which I've been waiting for and looking forward to for a long time, Possibly the biggest news today is that we have fiddler crabs. Hadrill's Point, because of all this warm weather this week, got them in for the first time in probably three months. Look at that guy, he's feisty, he's getting me right now. <laughs> you gotta let go of me though. All right, so I'm using a 3 8 ounce Sheep Sticker Pro Jig. Look at that profile. Haven't seen you guys in forever. Aesthetics aside, I mean, this is a very good looking combo. Obviously they got that light blue, the sea blue, whatever it is. But the reel sounds very smooth off the bat. And it's pretty light, this is a 3000 size. I believe it has 16 pounds of drag. Ooh, I think that was a bite already. Ooh, they got it, nice. I think he got eaten, yep. Ooh, pulled it right out of his mouth. Got a little bit of a feeding frenzy going on. Look at my radar there. All right, because it's only like five, five and a half feet deep, I decided I'm actually gonna start with the free line rig. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, he's so far around there. Ooh. There we go. <laughs> He's not huge, but it's a pretty good one. Definite keeper. If I was, probably 15. First one on the new reel. Hook came right out. And he's back. Ah, I got robbed. All right, let's put that split shot on. Ooh, this one's digging now. Nice. Ooh, just barely got him on the lip. Looks mirror image of that su that last fish. Could be the same one, I'm not sure. Don't know, you'd have to be pretty aggressive to do that again. Right on the outside of the lip. Another pretty good one. This one's probably about 16, probably the biggest one so far. But they're all pretty close in size. Nice. Yeah, these, honestly, I'm not convinced this isn't the same fish three times. They look very similar. So, so far, that's three keeper size sheeps. 
guess I might as well see if I can catch a limit. Limit is 10 per person per day. Okay, I put on a heavier jig this time. This one's a uh, half ounce, I believe. Easier to keep contact, easier to tell when I got a bite. So, as you can see, uh, this was not the weather that I was promised in the forecast. But, we're out here and we're gonna make the most of it. Started out strong, so I have reason to believe that the fish are active for uh, pretty much the first time all winter. So I'm not letting this opportunity go to waste. I'm nice and stable in my kayak. All right, I hooked one. Little sheep. Woo. I'm gonna get my leg workout in today. That's definitely a better one than the last one. Woo. Nice. That's probably another 15 or so, another keeper. This is a pretty good one, feeling heavy. Oh, oh, that's better than I thought. Let's pull him out over here. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's a good fish. He's tangled up, so he's coming in sideways. Oof. Man, is he playing this current. Come on. Oh, nice. That's probably a good 17 or so. Not significantly bigger, but that's um, my fifth keeper, I think. Fish pulled some good drag, the reel felt nice. So far, I'm feeling really good about it. That one just picked it right up. I don't think this one's very big, no. Quick release. I have a little one on. Didn't even know he was hooked. That was just about the lightest hooks I've ever gotten away with with a sheep's head there. I think that's another keeper. Yep, it's a pretty solid one. About 15, 15 and a half once again. So that's my sixth keeper of the day so far in just about an hour and a half of being out here. If it wasn't windy like this, I'd be having a lot easier time of it. Oh, see this one's feeling feist feisty. I think he's a little smaller than the last one. Looks like another keeper though. Yep, keeper number seven. We have a great bite going here right now. a good one. Oh yeah. Oh nice fatty. 
All right, not a monster by any means, probably like 17, 17 and a half, but it's a solid fish and it is, I think keeper number eight now. Let's let him go. Hopefully you guys can hear me. I know I can't really hear me because of this wind, but a uh, good thing is I have coffee and uh, temperature is actually pretty warm. It's probably about 65. Ooh, uh-oh, dolphins are coming. I just saw a little one right there. What also feels nice so far though is this toadfish reel. I'm, uh, here they come. I'm really happy with it so far. It's performing well, it feels really smooth. And so far I've caught eight keepers. Let's see if we can finish out our limit and then see where we're at, how we're feeling. There's two of them right there. Look at them, they're small too, those ones. Okay, we'll just make a nice long run over. As you can see, my reel got splashed quite a bit. So I'm testing out that IPX5 water seal very early on in this reel's career. I have two fiddler crabs on, on the half ounce cheap sticker pro jig, trying to see if I can find fish in a new area that I haven't fished before. A red, yeah, this one's a red. Not a bad one. Good small keeper, probably 17, 18 inches. I'll call him 18. <laughs> All right, let's check this dock out. Looks like it should be plenty deep enough for some sheep. And we're tucked a little bit out of the wind, it seems like. Ooh. I think that might be a red. It's really heavy. It hasn't run yet, but I feel like it's going to. Yeah, I think that's a red. Yeah, it is. He's not running for his size. He's pretty good size. Yeah, that's a pretty solid red. Look at him, yeah. That's probably an over slot. Our slot here is 15 to 23 in Charleston. Yeah, that's probably like a 25 if I can get him in the net. Nice. All right, let's get this red out. Perfect little red here, probably 24, 25 inches. Nice. Popped that little fiddler crab on the bottom. You can see how quickly I'm drifting right now. Or at least I hope you can appreciate it. All right, well, that was um, a little bit of a better first bite than I anticipated on this new dock. Give it another go and see if we can find another nice red or some good sheep's head or something. Just a little fiddler, half ounce sheep stick pro jig. The uh, toadfish rod really put the stop to him. He did not run at all. There was a minute there where I thought I might have just had a big sheep on because it really didn't pull much drag compared to what I would expect from a uh, redfish like that. My drag wasn't very tight either. He just dogging me a little bit but didn't pull a ton of drag. I think it's a little one. First sheep in a bit. finished out my limit yet. I got the first eight <laughs> of my 10 fish limit extremely quickly. All right, let's check out these docks here. I'm in just about seven feet of water. That current is coming up now. That's a good sheep. Look at 
that guy. <laughs> nice. Keeper number nine, barely hanging on by the lip. And I think that's probably the biggest one of the day. Look at that fish, it's beautiful. There we go, another solid fish. This is a uh, keeper number nine, I believe, unless I lost track somewhere along the way. Got that jig right, barely hanging from the lip there. Good fish, probably about 18. Uh, I think he's the biggest one of the day so far from the sheep department. Woo! <laughs> Quick release. Let's uh, keep fishing. The bite's still going. Uh, might have found another spot here, but stay tuned. Let's get back in that same spot. See if there's any other good ones. That fish just picked the jig straight up. Ran more than that 24, 25 inch redfish did. Ooh. That's another good one. Oh, number 10. And it's bigger than the last one. <laughs> that is a good looking fish. I won't take the camera out, even though I think he's bigger than the last one. Let's get him back and get back in there. I think he's probably 19 or so. Well, that was my limit. Another keeper, that's keeper number 11. And then overtime. Wow, that thing is fighting up a weight class or two. Another keeper. This guy puts the unofficial count at 12 keepers for the day. All right, so let's take a look. I still probably have like a third or half a pint almost. Considering how many fish I've caught and how many bites I was missing initially, that's looking pretty good in there. So far, this reel feels really awesome. Handling these uh, bigger sheep's head, uh, handled that 25-ish inch redfish really well. Granted, it didn't run as well as it probably should have for whatever reason, but Oh, that one's not half bad. Whoa, look at this guy. He has no tail. That is crazy. Holy cow, this is a crazy fish. That's pretty amazing that this fish is okay. Look at that. He swims. It's just so cool to see something like that. That's, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Ooh, 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 that's a serious one. That's a serious one. No, shoot. I think this is a red. No, it's just a good sheep. Ooh, nice, nice sheep. Good fish. Look at that, huh? Well, this has just been a phenomenal, phenomenal day of fishing.
Another nice keeper. Probably only a 15 inch or so, but good fish. Okay, I got two small fiddlers on here. I still have a decent amount left somehow after catching so many fish today. I'm uh, just gonna try here for a minute or so. Then I'll continue making my way out. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just need to keep backing up. See if I can drag him out. He has pulled so much drag. Come on. There we go. I think I have him out. Yes. Okay, I'll loosen a little bit. I didn't loosen that much. Nice red. This guy's pretty similar size to the one I caught earlier. He's just actually running. Strong fish. <sighs> wow, what a fish. Well, I think at this point I can pretty safely say that drag on the new toadfish reel works. Look at this guy. <laughs> what a fish to end the day on. I, I cannot believe how windy it is, but also how well the fish are biting today. I'm trying to move out of the channel here. The wind's blowing me so hard. Let's um, get this guy back. I'm thinking he's about 28, maybe 29. He's getting close to 30 there. <sighs> Beautiful fish. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, well that was a pretty phenomenal day of fishing. Uh, I, I feel, I'm so excited about how today went. That was a lot of fun. It's got me looking forward to the spring and summer seasons. It's still February, uh, it's the 26th right now, so it's Saturday. Uh, and the only reason I'm not inundated with boats and other kayakers and stuff is because it's so windy. And honestly, there was a point pretty early on where I almost went back, but uh, thankfully I didn't. I, I'm not sure how many keeper uh, sheep's head I ended up getting keeper because I, you know, I didn't actually keep them, but it was either 13 or 14, I believe. Uh, caught a ton of small ones, including that crazy one that had no tail. Um, that was really freaky, but cool to see that they survive an injury like that. Then I got a couple of good reds, including that big one I just let go uh, a few seconds ago. That's a good enough time to call it. I'm definitely leaving them biting. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to a lot more days like that. I appreciate all your comments and support. Uh, it's, it means a lot to me. Uh, it's the best way to help me grow is to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to head in now. Thank you guys again. Uh, remember to make some time for fishing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.